welcome back to Evie Kids. In today's session, we are going to be looking at how to make a beautiful sock bouquet. Now, these can be used for Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, birthdays, baby showers, you name it, you can always find a reason for giving flowers. But these flowers are obviously gonna last somewhat longer and they don't require that we pick those flowers that belong to the birds and the bees that also desperately need them at our current time on this planet. So, socks, hmm, number one, if you've got socks that need mending, mend them. Number two, if they're odd, wear them odd, nobody's gonna care. But once they get to that point where they've got holes in the toes and they've got holes in the heels and they've just got past that point and you can't think of anything else to do rather than really throw them in the bin, then this is the time and the project for you. You're going to need to have all of your items at hand. I'm going to show you to begin with, with a sock that's actually in not too bad nick, but it will help show you the technique. Also, I'm gonna be using a much shorter stick so that you'll be able to see whilst I'm filming. I often like to use two pronged sticks so that I can put one rose or flower here and one here, just so that I can add to my bouquet without too much trouble. To begin, take your sock and work out where the area is that needs to be semi-hidden. And you can open up your sock, so you can kind of like turn your sock so that that section isn't as visible anymore. Once I've done that, I've got a nice long length of a sock. I'm also going to then fold it over at the heel point. So I'm gonna turn that to its side. I'm also then gonna look at the toe and I'm gonna turn my toe. So I'm just gonna fold over. I actually recommend that you do use longer sticks because you can make a much longer, bigger bouquet by doing that. But for the purpose of this, I'm gonna use a short one just so you can see easily on the film. Lay your stick just on the other side here of the toe. Wrap this piece around, so rolling it in, so that it gives a kind of center bud to what is going to become my rose. Then I'm going to just follow along, and it goes off at a slight angle, as you can see here, and roll along my sock. Then I'm gonna pick up my sock, and you're gonna see that it's starting to need to turn out. So we're gonna roll the sock end out, as I pick it up and pick the sock and pull it around, keeping it folded over around the top. And we can start to see how our rose is beginning to take shape. We're then going to wrap it a little bit more and I'm going to keep folding that top piece over. So I'm continuing to turn the fabric ever so slightly until eventually it's all going to be turned over and I'll come to the other edge again. So I'm kind of twisting as I work. I continue by twisting until I get to a point where I'm just about maybe one round to the end of my sock and I've got that ankle elastic area that's come much more visible. At this point, I can recommend that you can put in one of your safety pins. At this point, you're then gonna push through as many layers as you can because you want it to hold on to the sock and just hold that in place for you. You're then going to keep wrapping around now to the base. We're taking it down, so we're going to cover over this and we come to our ankle area of the sock, the ankle elastic, and then we're just going to pull that around the underneath section. As we wrap that sock at this point, you could take your second safety pin and just safety pin that in place, making sure you've got a lot of fabric in there so it's not going to come undone. And you more or less there have your first rose. Now, what I would normally do at this point is take a needle and thread and stitch in this area. And that means that you don't have the use of lots of safety pins. You can obviously just go with using them to hold. Now, if you are sure where you're gonna stitch, you can take out your safety pins and if you're happy with that. If you're not, you can always re-roll and refold all your sock until you are. And you're just gonna pull that round. 
Sometimes you can tuck them under a little bit if you're not happy with having as much sock edge shown, but I've never really had too much of an issue with that. And then you can take your needle and whichever color thread you want and just stitch along the edge of your sock to ensure that everything holds in place. And snip away your ends. And here we have rose number one. Now clearly, in order to have this feel really effective, it's nice to do a number of different ones so that you can create a large bouquet or bunch of roses. And you can do these with big socks or little socks. It's entirely up to you. The process is exactly the same. Although I find with the little ones, they wrap so very quickly, but these are great on the edges of little branches as they need to be a little lighter. Whilst I highly advocate mending your socks, sometimes there simply isn't the time to be able to keep up with the demand and the amount of socks that need mending. And also there are other wonderful things that you can do such as these with them. So why not be creative and use the things you have to help you make and create something new. I would always recommend using Making Do and obviously these are going to be made into beautiful recycled sock roses but you could of course choose to do these with socks that are new and you could always do it as a way of giving the socks as a creative way of doing that. Clearly if you're doing them with new socks for a baby shower or such like, you would use safety pins so that they could be removed without damaging the sock. As you can see, our bouquet is starting to build. How you choose to dress your bouquet once you're complete is entirely up to you, of course. I'm using some white paper here, some tissue, and just a little bit of twine in my bouquet. And who would believe that this was just some old, odd socks, and now I have a beautiful bouquet of sock flowers to gift with. So have fun with it. See you next time. Bye from Weeby Kids.